Hey guys, in this lesson, we have to write a C program to update the back balance of a customer based on transactions performed as withdrawals and deposits by the customer. Not just a big program here, these are the scenarios we have to follow. The first one is prompt the user to input transaction type as withdrawal or deposit. Read the user input from the keyboard using get char function w for withdrawals d for deposits. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. In the Visual Studio code, we can create a new file. You can use your IDE. Okay, I will go ahead and say bank.c. You have to always use dot c. Okay because when you are creating a c file you always have to use dot c extension type type right here i will say hash include angle bracket is starting stdio dot h now create in main function now i will create braces here we have to return zero Now, uh, firstly, we have to select printf function. Using this function, we can display a message to user. Uh, we have to ask, please select the transaction type. Now, uh, transaction type here. Let's go ahead and uh, give some hint. W W for withdrawal. And then D. For deposit, we can capitalize these letters. Now we need to add the new line. To add the new line, we can add backslash and n. And after that, we have to use semicolon always. Now we have to create a new char. That char will store that w o d char let's say selection like that now we can uh, set this equals to get char this will read input from the keyboard as a char we can add semicolon now uh, we can print f this char we can say percentage symbol and c and then selection this one semicolon now let's go ahead and see what is the letter that we can see now to compile this we have to say gcc bank.c this is the file name with the extension and then hyphen o now executable file name bank now we can say dot forward slash we always have to provide dot forward slash to say we are in the current path and we are going to assess the file in current path the file is bank this one now we have to press w or d i will press w we can see w has been printed okay that's not the case let's go ahead and see this scenario what we have to do if user inputs w or w that means we have to check with the user entered the w capital w let's go ahead and add the if statement if selection 
here we will check this a goes to this w o we can do the o operation here by adding uh, this symbol then I will also say selection is equals to capital W now let's go ahead and print F something like ok now I'm going to compile this file again here uh, print F This should be a simple, uh, just single double, not single quotations, not double quotations. Here, I will enter W, capital W, okay. And again, I will enter simple W, it is also okay, but if enter something wrong, it is not okay. alright here I will add another else if statement to see whether user have selected D I'm checking selection is equals to simple D O this is O operator this is O logical operator if some uh, condition is true then then this statement will be executed selection is equals to capital D now braces ok in the else statement we can print f and show some error error should be you have selected an inner transaction type I will just paste that here and then I will end up with this semicolon ok for the W if the user in input W or W display the message you have selected to withdraw the money I can display this printf here if you have selected deposit letter D I can so you have selected to deposit money here I will add print a statement inside double quotations I can paste that well okay now uh, that is fine now modify the above program to input the bank balance and the amount all right in the above I will go ahead and uh, add the input taking option after this selection of the transaction type I will say printf please input your bank balance and then semicolon then I will also add a float variable because you know 
sometimes we could uh, contain some numbers like 25.4 like that right then I can say float value is equals to uh, let's keep it empty with the semicolon we can keep that empty then let's read that scanf function will allow us to read float numbers inside double quotations we can say percentage symbol and f because we are going to read the floating point number then we have to say ampersand symbol and then the variable name in this case our variable is value now we will have the bank balance and bank balance and the amount based on the transaction type display the new balance here in this if statement and this else if statement we have to display that value okay that's all we can say printf and then percentage f this will show all value including more zeros i will show you what i mean by more zeros okay here i will separate by comma then add value we don't have to especially say ampersand here because we are only displaying a value we are not going to read the value to that here in this else statement we have to paste that too now i'm going to run this again firstly we have to compile gcc bank.c hyphen or bank to run this dot forward slash executable file name here i will go for deposit input to your bank balance i will add something like thousand you have selected deposit money thousand dot you can see more zeros before that i will add some line spaces uh, new lines okay to new to add new lines here please input your bank balance i will say backslash and n here also i will add backslash n2 you have selected to withdraw money here also i will add backslash n okay now here we have more zeros as i mentioned here how we can limit this into two places only only two decimal places we can do that after this percentage symbol we can only do this when we are displaying the value okay when we are reading the value from the keyboard we cannot do that here after the percentage and sign and uh, before the f symbol f letter we have add zero dot and how many decimal places we need to show let's keep that into two places 0 0.2 here also 0 0.2 okay now we have to compile this again and then run i will say w and bank balance i will say as like this one million now it is showing me one million balance it is better to show some value here some message here your current bank balance amount is colon right like that we can do similarly here okay now we can run this program again w and i will input my ba bank balance as 1 million your current bank balance amount is 1 million okay that's it and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you